Today is a beautiful day to learn some chemistry. Let's get started. We have gaseous methane will react with gaseous oxygen to produce gaseous carbon dioxide and gaseous water, H2O. Suppose 6.4 grams of methane is mixed with 8.19 grams of oxygen. Calculate the maximum mass of water. So when we're given a gram to gram conversion, we need to figure out what is the chemical equation, right? So first we need to figure out what's the, our reactants side, which substances are reacting to each other, and what's our product side. I will just label R for reactants, P for products. So now let's look at the question. Which substances are reacting with each other? We have gaseous methane, we put that here, CH4 plus, with, will react with gaseous oxygen gas, right? So now we have O2 here. Now it says to produce carbon dioxide. So now we put CO2 here, right? Then now, and it says gaseous water, so we put plus H2O here. Now, the reason why I kind of spread it out, I wrote it a little bigger, is because just in case if I need to change the number of moles, moles go in front of our compounds. You can never change the subscripts. Don't ever do that. Just change the moles. So now, let's label out what we have. We have carbon, we have hydrogen, and we have oxygen then on this side you're going to end up with the same elements so just list it out correctly you have carbon here i'm going to put hydrogen i'm going to put oxygen that way you don't get confused right so then now we have one carbon we have a total of four hydrogens we have two oxygens now let's look over here on our product side we have one carbon we have two hydrogens and we have two oxygens here. Don't forget to count this one, making it a total of three oxygens. So then now we need to figure out, okay, what is balanced and what is not balanced? My carbon checks out, my hydrogens doesn't check out and my oxygens don't check out. The first thing for me to do is how can I make this two change into this four. So I look at where hydrogen is at. I notice that it has a two subscript. So now I must put a two here. Two times two gives us four. But keep in mind, once you change the number of moles, the whole compound changes. So now I have a total of two oxygens on this side. So how many do I have on the product side? Two oxygens plus two oxygens will give us four. Let's go back over here. Now, I need to change this to a four. So if I have two here, two times blank gives us four. That is two here. Now my equation is fully balanced. I would have one CH4 plus two O2 to give me one CO2, let me mark that down, plus two H2O. Now the equations is balanced. So now we can dive right into the problem. So I'm going to erase this bottom. Whenever I have a problem like this, I like to write out what do I have and what do I need? First of all, what is the question asking me to solve? It says calculate the maximum mass of water. Mass, as we know, is in grams. So we need grams of H2O. So we have 6.4 grams of methane and we have 8.19 grams of oxygen. Calculate the mass of water. I have those two values. Now, this problem, it can work with either or. So we just need one gram of one substance to give us the gram of 
H2O. So in this case, mm, I like using oxygen. So let's use this value. We'll have 8.19 grams of O2. So whenever you have this type of problem, this is a gram to mole to mole gram conversion. They're asking us for grams of substance A to grams of substance B. In this case, grams of substance A is our 8.19 grams of O2. We need to get grams of H2O. So let's start over with what we have. We have 8.19 grams of O2. Now remember when I said this is a gram to mole to mole gram conversion? Let's mark it here. We're gonna put grams, moles, moles, and grams. So this is just a good layout of how to start the problem. So now I need to end up with grams of H2O. So let me put grams of H2O here. So now we have to think about how do we get from here to here? Well, my grams of O2 can go here because remember, you need these units to cancel. You don't need to be stuck with grams of O2 because it's asking for grams of H2O. But now this step says we have to include our moles. So moles goes on top. So now you have to have the moles of O2 on top because you need to show the relationship. But now I need to get rid of this moles of O2. You have to put moles of O2 on the bottom. Now I still need to put moles here, right? So I'll put moles on the top. I've ran out of using grams of O2. I've ran out of using moles of O2. So now which moles would I use? The moles of the compound in question. They're asking about water, so I'll put moles of H2O. Then I'll put moles of H2O here. So this will cancel with this. Moles of O2 cancel out with moles of O2. Moles of H2O cancel out with moles of H2O leaving me with grams of H2O. That's how you know you set this up beautifully. So then now, the next step for us to do is, what numbers do we put in? What values do we put in? So for every one mole, it equals a certain amount of grams of the substance. We have O2. In your periodic table, you look for the atomic mass. It usually looks like this. So we'll have O here, and then we'll have and eight's on top, maybe 15.99. Every periodic table varies. We're looking for the atomic mass. Round that value up, we can round it to 16.0, right? So then now, we need to do 16.0 times two. 16.0 times two, that should give you 32. So I'll put 32.0 here. Let me erase that. So now, this step is very important. And the reason why, because it only works if your equation is fully balanced. So now, moles of H2O, I look for the moles of H2O, look for that number in front of it. That's two. We have moles of O2, look for the number in front of it. That is also two. So then now, I need to figure out, okay, how many moles of H2O would it be needed for grams of H2O here? It's like the same concept here. For every one mole, we have a certain amount of grams. So hydrogen, right? So let's say if we want to break down H2O, we want to find the molar mass of a compound. Hydrogen has um, an atomic mass of 1.008, depending on which periodic table you have, the, um, the values vary. So we'll have, let's just do 1.0 times two. Then for oxygen, we know it's 15.999. We'll round it out to 16. 1.0 times two, that gives us two. Bring the 16 here, because 16 times one just gives us 16. 
2 plus 16 gives us 18. So I'll just put this as 18.0, right? So then now, the next step for us to do, we need to multiply everything on the top, then multiply everything on the bottom, and then we'll get the right answer. So we have to do 8.19 times 2 times 1 times 18. Anything times 1 is just the same number by itself. So now you get out your calculator. So we have 8.19 times 1, of course, times 2 times 18.0. If you did it correctly, you should get... 294.84. So then now, the next step, we need to multiply everything on the bottom. So we'll do 32.0 times 2 times 1. And you should get now 64. Now we just need to divide these two values. So you'll take 294. 0.84 divided by 64 and then you should get 4.60687 so now we need to focus on significant figures so let me erase some of this let me erase this top part so we got 4.6068.75. So now what we got is this number, right? But we need to put the right sig figs. Go back to the question. How many sig figs we have here? We have three. Any number besides zero is a significant number. And there's certain rules that you need to follow with significant figures. We have three sig figs here. I'll just put three here. So now, because we use this value, right? And then we have two here. I used three in the question, right? So this should be 4.61 grams of H2O. And that's our final answer. Now, if you used methane, it would be a different story, but because we used this value, we started out with 8.19, we need to end up with three significant figures. So the final answer is this. And in case you have troubles with rounding, I will be putting up videos on how to round, but just know that I looked at this number. Since it's more than five, I have to round this up one unit. So this will just be 4.61, grams of H2O. And that is all, folks. Hope this video made sense. Please like and subscribe, and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.